Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have had continuous request to film videos for my E46 and here I am filming a video for the E46. So this is going to be a series of E46 videos uh, called the E46 vlogs and this is the part one of it. And in today's video, I am going to run you through all the DIY parts which I have bought through the months, I think maybe a year plus now. And uh, just going to run you through all the parts which are there, uh, which have helped me maintain my E46 since about now two years now. And after that, I will also run you through all the DIY jobs which have been performed on the car using most of these tools. So starting off with the ratchet set. So we have a couple of them. Here it is for uh, much of the major jobs. At the same time, uh, we have a this same set is used a lot for the underbody jobs. Again, we do have a smaller version of the same, you know, uh, maybe for smaller jobs, uh, something like removing a headlight or something. So then we have a torque wrench and we have a breaker bar as uh, most uh, DIY jobs would not be complete without these two. Yes, of course, we have a Motorman uh, high lift jack and uh, that is essentially uh, very much utilized when you're doing uh, those underbody jobs or you know the small ones like you know even replacing a wheel so that has been purchased and you know well everything has been purchased nothing is on rent of course because we have a high lift jack we do have jack stands and uh, four of those so totally i think each jack stand is having a capacity of three tons each so these are like uh, fairly heavy duty. Uh, there are uh, much more heavy duty ones, six tons each also available, but this is good enough, I believe. Then we have a Dremel, which is actually a rotary grinding tool uh, used for custom fabrication purposes. After that, I wanna run you through the multimeter, which is very handy tool. Uh, mostly I have used it for checking the battery voltage and that's about it, I believe. After that, everyone knows the importance of uh, WD-40 and uh, truly, um, you know, if you are attempting some uh, uh, old uh, uh, rusty uh, jobs wherein the screws and uh, the bolts are tricky to open, so just uh, spray this on one day before and attempt that job next day. So mostly that is about it for the WD-40. Finally, we have the KW toolkit. And uh, this came in with my suspension, basically the coilovers. So it's used for, uh, this is for the suspension uh, rebound resilience. So this you can uh, make it softer and uh, maybe make it uh, harder towards the track setup. Whereas this tool is actually for adjusting the height of the suspension. Uh, you can raise or drop your E46 quite easily. So that was the KW's toolkit. So let's now talk about the DIY jobs undertaken uh, with the help of these tools. Starting off with uh, the drive shaft center support bearing replacement. So this was one of the, you can say, the difficult uh, jobs undertaken by us uh, as a DIY. And uh, the center support bearing had broken and uh, that day, I believe uh, the car was on jack stands uh, for more than 24 hours and uh, the drive shaft came out. We had taken the drive shaft to one of our offices uh, wherein um, you know, we just uh, observed a lot of things around and then finally, with the help of real OEM, we were able to put the drive shaft back in place with a new center support bearing and fix that problem for good. So, so that was one of the uh, you can say the difficult jobs of uh, or DIY for my E46. So while the drive shaft was out, we had access to the gearbox. And at very that time, we thought it was a good time to replace the gearbox mounts as well. And uh, thankfully, we had pre-ordered uh, those parts uh, very much before. And uh, it was just a simple DIY, thanks to the tools. At the same time, thanks to the passion for the E46. 
Another DIY which we did was the instrument cluster was uh, throwing up a, a light of uh, change brake pads. And uh, that was like really funny because we had a completely new uh, big brake kit installed, the stop tech setup, all four new brakes, new disc, new pads obviously. So overall, that was slightly funny. So what we had to do, we had to remove the wheels and get access to the, the brake pad uh, wear sensors and uh, make those wires short. And I think that really solved the issue. I also had to refer this online. This was not my solution. Uh, thanks to the E46 community which provided such details uh, and the solutions for uh, such an issue. So another job which we did uh, for the E46 as a DIY was the horn. And I believe uh, the original horn was working till around uh, 2019. So it's a 2001 car. So it, it's been 18 years the horn was working and it finally gave in. So obviously the new OEM horn was very expensive. So we uh, got a German sounding horn by Roots and we installed that. So that install was, uh, there were a couple of methods to adopt. One was you had to practically remove the bumper and another one was uh, slightly, you know, wherein the bumper uh, removal was not required, only the headlights, if you can remove and, you know, get access, uh, you can install a new horn as well. So this was another DIY which was implemented uh, uh, for my E46. So another quick couple of jobs which we implemented for the E46 as a part of the DIYs. Uh, one of them was uh, the lug bolts which were pretty much old and rusted. So it is always a good thing to replace them with fresh ones and that's what we did. It's a pretty easy job but it was a DIY, uh, one of the early DIYs but I'm mentioning it uh, at the last. At the same time, uh, our rare uh, number plate lights, uh, that had stopped working. So that had been replaced uh, by LED ones. Again, it was a, a pretty much uh, simple uh, DIY. And so this is, this, is, uh, this is it in the video today. Uh, I really thank you all for watching. I again apologize for my car being dirty uh, because uh, again, the car is also maintaining social distancing as uh, we are in the middle of a pandemic and it hasn't been washed since a while. In the meanwhile, I request all of you to stay safe and keep India safe. Jai Hind.